Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Flying Swine Raceway, or the future home of Flying Swine Raceway. Um, my track's not up yet, so I can't really do any testing and tuning and things like that. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm John, or another John. Uh, I know there's a lot of Johns in this hobby. So anyway, uh, I received a, uh, a video, oh, sorry, not a video, um, a shipment from LEB Hobbies. I know it's not their fault. I'm not blaming them. I blame the shipper because ship happens. Anyway, um, I received the two cars. Uh, the box, it, it was all in one box. Uh, LEB Hobbies did an amazing job on packaging it. I should have taken a picture, uh, you know, done, done an unboxing and stuff. And showed this box. Uh, it looked like they played rugby with it. Um, anyway, yeah, I think they sent it across the pond. I think uh, Dave from Slot R probably set something up, or or Pete, or uh, any of those. Uh, Pete from Track Fans TV, uh, or even uh, Cleve from Cleve Tech. <laughs> so uh, somebody set it up and uh, had him play rugby with it or something. I don't know. I absolutely love these cars. Um, it doesn't matter uh, to me. They look like a Mustang. Uh, purists can talk all they want, but uh, it's unmistakably a Mustang. Um, you know, Shelby Mustang. It's got the hood scoop. It's got everything, all the side scoops and everything. So, uh, yeah, I, I I love them, especially with the uh, with the Magnum 500 wheels that they have on them. Um, yeah, both of them. Anyway, so not so much of an issue with this one. But this one had a little bit of an issue um, during shipment. Uh, the driver is loose in there. See, he's laying down on the job. Oh, well. It, that's, a, that's a quick fix. A little bit of CA glue. And also, uh, a problem with the chassis. There's the crack in the, in the, in the motor pod. So, you know what? Five, ten bucks, maybe, fix. Or a CA glue fix, whatever. I don't care. Uh, but I, I'll fix it. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go go into it more, go into it deeper, and uh, see what other kind of issues there are with it. Harry did already did a review on these cars. Uh, Harry's amazing at Home Racing World. Um, you know, like and subscribe to everyone um, you know that you know of that deal with uh, that that have a channel on here. You know, it just helps the uh, the algorithm, as what George said. Uh, Last night, I believe. So anyway, that's why I'm starting this channel. Uh, the Acapulco Blue one, I haven't noticed any issues with it. Hold on a second. Let me get it out of the case. Here. There we go. Nice and gentle. Oh, there goes the card. Anyway, card, I can get that one. So this is the Blue Acapulco one. Um, and uh, I don't see any, any issues with it. Uh... It's just, just amazing. Um, the uh, let me see something else. Yeah, uh, I thought maybe there was something else here, but no, uh, no, no cracked motor pod, no nothing like that. Um, although, huh? Glad I didn't fire that up. Look down in the motor. That is a screw down in there. How did that get in there? Cause uh, there's no, there's no screws. Oh, where did the screw go? Okay, I'm gonna have to go through that. I'm gonna have to pull that apart and take a look. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna run that car. Now the screw's gone. I don't know where the screw went. So anyway, gonna have to pull the motor apart and uh, take the end bell off. Okay, so what I've noticed is, see that? Yeah, that's a grub screw. Um, yeah, in the in the assembly process or something. Uh, yeah, that's what was down in there. So yeah, so um, just just when you get these cars, not everything is perfect. Um, so inspect things. Uh, take a look at it. Take. Uh, you know, check the chassis. Go over everything. It doesn't hurt. Um, if you break something, then you fix it. I mean, but on these cars, it's it's pretty simple fix. 
so yeah, I can get that. Um, all it is is these two end tabs. See the little tabs? Let's see. If you look in there, see the tabs right there on either side of the motor? That's how you pull the, the end bell off. But you also have to... You also have to... Um, to get this out, you have to pull the... Um, I just went ahead and pulled the pinion off. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So that's a little grub screw down in there. That could cause some cause some issues, I would think. You know, they get this thing spinning around at 21,000 RPMs and or whatever they're rated at. Um, yeah, that could uh, cause some damage. And then you're like, what the heck? What's going on with my motor? Yeah. So I'm glad I inspected that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, everybody. We're going to take that out. This is nice and easy. See? That's, see that there? Go up, screw. Yeah. Beautiful. See? So, and there's not, no other issues with it. That's wanting to focus on me. Hold on a second. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, so, I got an extra grub screw. Cool. Anyway. So, that's... Make sure that you inspect everything. Um, turn the motor. Don't just automatically... I could have easily... If I had the track, I'd probably... I would have probably put this on the track... And heard something, and yeah, uh, you know, quality control is not perfect on things. So, you know, do yourself a favor and inspect things. Good thing I got that sorted. I'm glad I took a look. Uh, oh, yeah, my camera's up there. Um, anyway, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Um, sorry, first first video. I appreciate you and uh appreciate everybody that is uh that is uh trying to get this ho hobby back in the limelight um cuz it had a heyday back back in the 70s and 80s and uh, a little bit in the 90s I think uh but uh yeah I I really enjoy this hobby um it's uh, compared to other hobbies like Steve Neal says it's uh it's quite a uh, quite less um <laughs> less expensive um but uh when you when you get your cars so when you get a car or whatever it doesn't hurt to take it to take it out of the package and do a once over uh turn uh, you know roll the uh, move the axle roll the axle or what you know spin the spin the axle so it uh, works the gears and the um and the motor so and then look inside the motor if you can if you can see inside of it or whatever um take the body off um lubricate lubricate the points uh as far as like the uh the axle bushings and stuff like that and uh the uh the motor shaft and uh, just make sure that the that the gears are greased and everything is seated properly um yeah, it's just it just give it a once over, and if you have questions, ask. It it doesn't. Uh, we're all here to help. Uh, we're all here to help each other uh, in this hobby, and uh, you know it's it's amazing all the help that we have. Um, uh, even even if you need to call one of the hobby shops, Leb Hobbies. Uh, let's see, Soccer Corner. Uh, whatever. I mean, the, you have questions, and they can help you. Uh, uh, Electric Dreams down in Southern California, uh, Monster Hobbies up in uh, up in Quebec. Uh, you know, just ask them. Uh, even on uh, all, all the uh, all the guys' pages on or all the all the videos that we put out. Uh, well, that I haven't put out yet. That's my first one. But uh, let's see. We got Marty Ford with two lines. We got. Hopefully, I get everybody. Um, Dave Kennedy with uh, Sock Car Corner. Or sorry, Sakar News. Um, we got Ra Raul up in uh, up in Canada with uh, with uh, <laughs> Conquest Racing Club. Um, George uh, down in North Carolina with uh, Area Fifty One. Um, we got Massimo MP MP Sakar Space. Uh, we have uh, oh Travis with uh, uh, that Sakar guy. Uh, we're all on Facebook and we're, you know, we're just, we're just, we're here. We're here for the community uh, of soccer's, And, 
we just want to help everybody, you know. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Mm, just, you know, if you're faster than me, then you're faster than me. Okay, I just got to just gotta learn to race better, you know, and stay in the slot. That's it. Just just do it. Um, and, oh, and uh, one good, one excellent source is Home Racing World and Harry. Harry's very, very knowledgeable in this stuff. And he does good barbecue. Or actually, great barbecue. I haven't tasted it yet, but uh, yeah. Someday. Someday, Harry. <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I start doing my track build or any other uh, content, uh, slot car content that I uh, put up, uh, you will be notified um, when I do. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Stay slotted.